Dear learners, myself Dr. Rajiv Prashad and uh, I am dealing with the chemistry subject. After completing this lesson, you will be able to recall the evidence showing the presence of charged particle in matter. You will be able to describe the discovery of electron and proton, explain Dalton's atomic theory and its failure, discuss Thomson's and Rutherford model of atom and explain their limitations. Explain the Bohr's model of atom in brief, describe the discovery of neutron, compare the characteristic properties of proton, electrons and the neutrons, explain various rules for filling of electrons and write the distribution of electron in different cell up to atomic number 20. Define valency and correlate electronic configuration of an atom with its valency. Define atomic number and mass number of an atom. Describe isotopes, isobars. Define and compute average atomic mass and explain its fractional value. Dear learners, you know that according to Dalton's atomic theory, the atoms of different elements are different and in chemical reaction, the atoms are rearranged between different reacting substances. However, today we know that the atom is not indivisible as it was thought by Dalton. The atom has a structure and contain a smaller constituents in it. In this unit, we will attempt to find out the answer of some of the questions like what is the structure of an atom, what are the constituents of atom, why the atoms of different elements are different and so on. We will begin this unit with the study of discoveries of subatomic particles such as electrons, protons and neutrons. Then we will take up various atomic models proposed on the basis of these discoveries. We will discuss how various models of the structure of atom were developed and also explain the success as well as the shortcomings of these models. This will be followed by description of the arrangement or the distribution of electron in the atom. This arrangement is known as electronic configuration. Charge particles in an atom. Towards the end of 19th century, certain experiments shows that an atom is neither the smallest nor the indivisible particles of a matter as stated by Dalton. It was shown to even a smaller particle. These particles were called electrons, protons and neutrons. Discovery of electron. In 1885, Sir William Crookes carried out a series of experiments using cathode ray tube. A cathode ray tube consists of two metal electrodes sealed in a partially evacuated glass tube and evacuated tube is the one from which most of air has been removed. The negatively charged electrode is called cathode whereas the positively charged electrode is called anode. These electrodes are connected to a high voltage source. Such a cathode ray tube has been shown in figure below. This is the overall arrangement for the cathode ray uh, which uh, produces the negatively charged particles which is later called as electron. Properties of cathode rays. Following are the important properties of cathode rays. First, cathode rays are a stream of fast moving particle. These particles have a negligible mass but travel very fast. They carry negative charge and later called electrons. The nature of cathode ray generated is independent of the nature of the gas 
filled in the discharge tube as well as the nature of metal used for making the electrode. This is the arrangement for production of cathode rays uh, which is uh, shown here. Uh, cathode ray as pass through the electric field and their deflection is shown. Discovery of proton. Goldstein performed an experiment using a discharge tube similar to cathode ray tube. Here a perforated cathode was used and was fixed in the middle of the discharge tube. On applying a high voltage, a faint red glow was observed behind the perforated cathode. This is the arrangement shown in this figure. The glow was due to anode rays which are a stream of positively charged particles originated at the anode and moving towards cathode. The glow is produced when these particles strike the glass tube behind the cathode. Properties of anode rays. First, anode rays are a stream of positively charged particles which were later called protons. Second, these particles are much heavier than electrons. Third, the positive charge on the particles was whole number multiple of the amount of negative charge present in the electron. Fourth, the nature and type of the particles constituting the anode rays were dependent on the nature of gas present in the discharge tube. Discovery of neutron. The discrepancies could be resolved if an electrically neutral particles with mass nearly same as that of proton was also present in the nucleus. Such a particle was discovered by James Chadwick in 1932, which had no charge and whose mass were nearly same as that of a proton. It was named as neutron. Characteristic of fundamental particles. This table shows the different particles, electrons, protons and neutrons, their symbol, mass, charge, etcetera and their actual charge in columns is also mentioned here. Atomic models. Conclusions drawn from the discovery of electron and proton. Atom consists of positively charged particle which carries practically the whole mass of the atom. Second, negatively charged electron which have a negligible mass. Third, the total positive charge is equal to the total negative charge. Now see the first uh, model, Thomson's atomic model and its main concept. According to this model, an atom can be considered as a large sphere of positive charge with a number of a small negatively charged electrons scattered throughout. This model is also called plum pudding model. This is the actual arrangement given by the Thomson, where a sphere indicates the positive charge and the negative charge is embedded or scattered in this sphere. Another Ford alpha ray scattering experiment. This was the second experiment uh, to find out the actual structure of the atom. Alpha ray scattering experiment was designed to experimentally verify Thomson atomic model. In this experiment, a stream of alpha particles from a radioactive source was directed on thin foil of gold. Alpha particles are helium nuclei obtained by removing both the electrons from helium atom. This was the arrangement by Rutherford gold foil experiment. The results of alpha ray scattering experiment. First, on the basis of this experiment, Rutherford concluded that most of the alpha particles pass straight through the gold foil without any deflection. Some of the alpha particles were deflected by small angles. A few particles were deflected by large angles. 
about 1 in every 12,000 particles experience a rebounds. On the basis of this observation, Rutherford model is like this. First, an atom consists of a dense and positively charged region located in its center called nucleus. All the positive charge and most of the mass of the atom are contained in the nucleus. The rest of the atom is empty space in which a small negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus. Now, after this uh, Rutherford atomic model, there was also some drawbacks. The drawbacks of Rutherford model was like this, the stability of atom. That means, Rutherford model do not explain the stability of atom, that is the actual position of electrons and protons in the in an atom. Distribution of electron around the nucleus, it was not mentioned in this model that where is the specific position of electrons and protons. Relationship between atomic mass and atomic number, that is also not explained by the Rutherford atomic model. This was the main drawbacks, this picture depicts that when electron start revolving around the nucleus, it will radiate energy and ultimately it will collide with the nucleus which shows the unstability of the atomic model given by Rutherford.